So how are you Hooba Hoobas doing today? I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking! Anyways, to get down to the point, I made a money guide video not too long ago. Like a week ago, or, well, just maybe like five days ago. Damn it, I made it last week! How about that? But I left out some stuff in it that I actually wanted to talk about. And the stuff I wanted to talk about was how to lose money on RuneScape. Because the guide was how to make money. But there are ways, well, many ways, you lose money on RuneScape. And you really shouldn't lose money on RuneScape. Now, okay, you're probably saying, well, you know, you can die. Yeah, the obvious way is to fucking die on RuneScape. Like, for example, in PvP or Bounty Hunter, I have lost a ton of money. And I'm pretty sure that a whole bunch of you motherfuckers out there have lost a ton of money in PvP or Bounty Hunter. Like, watch hair. <laughs> obvious way to lose a lot of money. Same thing with Bounty Hunter. But I'm going to be talking about other ways to lose money in this game besides Bounty Hunter and besides PvP, and hopefully it helps some people out. The first way I want to talk about losing money is the obvious thing, time. If you're wasting time, then you're wasting money! Like, look here! This is an awesome way to lose a hell of a lot of money. Motherfuckers dancing! You lose money! Holy shit! The next way that you could lose money is by the Grand Exchange. I have lost money from this asshole over here because in one of my videos I needed to buy a weapon for the video and I didn't look to see if the weapon was crashing or rising in price. I just went ahead and bought the weapon. Then when I was done using it, two days later I was going to resell it and the weapon crashed in price. The son of a bitch fucking godsword plummeted and I got fucked out of money. One of the things I love Jagex for is adding a page to your site listing all the items and prices. So before you buy an item, you can come on here and get a good sense if the item is crashing or rising. It might save you some moolah. Once again, and no, I am not your son, you're wasting time! Yes, sitting is the same exact thing as dancing, because you're wasting time, which means you're wasting moolah. You could be spinning bowstrings, damn it! Alright, now the next way you can potentially lose a hell of a lot of money might be complicated for some people, but it's really not. Now let's say, hypothetically, red party hats are 200 mil. And let's say Joe Motherfucker wants to buy a red party hat. Now, this individual, Joe Motherfucker, has 300 mil cash. Now, Joe Motherfucker is going to spend 200 mil on his red party hat. Now, what happens is a week goes by and red party hats drop to 190 mil. And every fucking asshole that spread rumors on RuneScape says, Party hats are dropping! Party hats are dropping! Slap my ass! Slap my ass! Party hats are dropping! Party hats are dropping! So this makes Joe Motherfucker really, really nervous hearing this from a whole bunch of fucking clan merchanting assholes, and he decides to sell his red party hat. Now Joe Motherfucker has 290 mil cash, but a month goes by and Joe Motherfucker says, Boy, I really want a red party hat back again. So he looks at the price of one, and they have risen to 220 mil now. But since Joe Motherfucker really wants one, he's going to spend money to buy one. Now Joe Motherfucker is left with 70 mil cash. This happens all the time to a lot of people. You buy your item, then you resell it. Then the item goes up and you want to use it again, and then you lose more cash. So in Joe Motherfucker's case, he just wasted 30 mil, literally just buying an item and selling it back and then rebuying the item. Which is why you should never, ever, ever sell your dream items. Like for example, I always wanted a party hat and I got one now and I will never, ever sell it in a million years. Even if my party hat drops down to 1 GP, I will still keep it forever because it is my dream 
gear that I wanted. In Joe Motherfucker's case, he wanted a party hat really badly. It possibly could have been his dream gear, but he sold it because he got nervous, which made him lose money. So that is why you never, ever sell your items once you buy it. Now, an Abyssal Whip is a different story, because an Abyssal Whip doesn't rise up by millions and drop by millions in a few days. So I'm pretty sure an Abyssal Whip isn't anybody's dream gear, but it possibly could be. But then some people will be like, well, if I waste all my money on my dream gear, I won't have any money left. Well, that's a no-brainer question. You just do what I did. Make more fucking cash. More motherfuckers wasting time, as you can see. The last thing that I want to talk about on how you can lose a lot of money is how a couple of my friends have lost a ton of moolah is clan mercing. Now, the only way you will ever make money from clan mercing is really if you are the clan leader and you are a friend of the clan leader. But otherwise, if you're just part of the clan and you're just people buying the same item as the uh, leader, then you're going to be the last one to get told to sell your items long after the clan leader has already sold his slash her items. I have never clan merchant before, and I will never. I've always done merchanting on my own, just flip-flopping items back and forth. So, you know, it's kind of easy, and I make money on my own. I don't have to rely on other people, or rather lie to other people. And I am back! Now, the reason why I made this video was just really wanted to make a video on how to lose money. Now, the obvious way is to really lose money, like I said before, is really dying. Like, if I were to fucking die right here in my house right now for uh, some unknown godly reason, I just dropped dead and saw all my shit disappear, you guys don't want to know what the fuck would happen. But all hell would break loose. That's what would happen. And a lot of shit would get blown up. But anyways, I am making a special video this Thursday, so make sure you motherfuckers check back here uh, Thursday of this week. But anyways, if you guys have anything for me, you can leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment. One thing I do actually want to know is, like I said, like, you lose money from buying an item, reselling it back and forth. I've lost money from that many, many times. I actually, I actually want to know, and sorry for the, sorry for the stutter, my, my tongue is kind of tingly, because I need fucking food, and the goddamn motherfucking pizza delivery asshole didn't get here yet, so I must go and call his ass again, but like I said, leave your nasty dirty little comments, let me know what items you ha guys have lost money reselling and buying, I have lost money reselling and buying god swords, just for a long time. God swords, dragon fire shields, other stuff. Back and forth, just, you know, a whole bunch of shit. So let me know. Otherwise, see you guys later. Take care. Don't die or do anything crazy that I wouldn't do.